In this recording, we look at how to integrate sine squared x and cos squared x with respect to x. First of all, let's consider sine squared x. It might not be immediately obvious how to integrate it when it's written in that form, but let's consider an identity that is quite useful, namely that sine squared x is equal to a half times 1 minus cos 2x. Considering then the integral of sine squared x with respect to x, that is the same as the integral of a half times 1 minus cos 2x with respect to x. So that's just integrating both sides of our identity above. And this expression here on the right is actually a lot easier to integrate. So we can expand the brackets. That's just the integral of a half minus a half cos 2x with respect to x. How does that work? We could just split that up if we want to look at this more closely by linearity, since we just have this term minus this one. That is, it's the integral of a half with respect to x minus the integral of a half cos 2x with respect to x. Then the integral of a half with respect to x just becomes a half x, or x on 2. What about this part here? Well, that a half will still be multiplied by the integral of cos 2x with respect to x. What happens when we integrate cos 2x with respect to x? Well, we actually get a half sine 2x. And then this whole expression, of course, will be plus c. So this is the integral of sine squared x with respect to x. It is simply equal to a half x minus a quarter sine 2x plus c. And we can work out the integral of cos squared x in a very similar way. As cos squared x, an identity that's useful for that is it is always equal to a half times 1 plus cos 2x. So therefore, the integral of cos squared x with respect to x is just going to be the integral of a half times 1 plus cos 2x with respect to x, which will work out very similarly to the integral for sine squared x. As you'll notice, this is very similar to the expression for sine squared x, except it is a half times 1 plus cos 2x, whereas sine squared x was a half times 1 minus cos 2x. It means the integral is going to come out looking very similar as a half x plus a quarter sine 2x plus c. And being able to work out the integral of sine squared x and the integral of cos squared x, we'll see this is quite useful to know how to do these when we get on to looking at more general integrals involving a product of even powers of sine x and cos x in a subsequent maths cast. But just before we finish up here, let's now consider if we are wanting to, let's say, find the integral of cos squared 3x, let's say, with respect to x. How would we do that? How could we work this out? Well, it's a similar sort of form to cos squared x dx, except now we have the integral of cos squared 3x dx. So maybe we could do a substitution and let u be equal to 3x, meaning that that first part would be replaced with cos squared u. But if we do that, we would need to replace dx in terms of du. So let's see what dx will be. Now if u is 3x, du dx is 3, Therefore, du is in fact 3dx. And with du equal to 3dx, that means dx, which is what we have here, is in fact a third du. Therefore, the integral of cos squared 3x dx is the integral of cos squared u, one third du when we're substituting those in. And that's just one third times the integral of cos squared u with respect to u. 
but we know that if the integral of cos squared x dx is a half x plus a quarter sine 2x plus c, then a third times the integral of cos squared u du must be a third of a half u plus one quarter sine 2u and then that's all plus a constant. So what happens from here? Well there's two things we need to do to finish this off. First of all we could expand the brackets to make those fractions a bit simpler. So a third times a half that'll be one sixth times u but in turn u is 3x so that'll be a sixth times 3x and then this bit a third times one quarter is a twelfth sine 2u but again u is 3x so it'll be a twelfth sine 6x in fact plus c so I've just rewritten it here with both sides of the expression this was the integral of cos squared 3x dx and the right hand side can just be simplified a little bit more as 6 times 3x that's just half x or x on 2 then this bit plus 1 twelfth sine of 2 times 3x so that's sine 6x plus c so you'll notice it's interesting that the 1 half x bit stays the same but this 3x part is affecting this next term and that type of integral can be worked out using integration by substitution as in this case so you might now want to go on and look at our later recordings on cases where we're integrating products of sine and cos functions where both of them are raised to an even power as that then follows on from this maths cast.